Behold my latest project. Uh, 125 millimeters air duct valve controlled by a ESP8266. Uh, it's pretty generic. Um, you could probably drive this servo by any other means, um, Arduino or something fancy. Doesn't really matter. That's okay. I'm using uh, ASP Easy, e ESP Easy, uh, on this board with the basic servo commands. And uh, as you can hear, it is a bit jittery every, every now and then. I do try to um, power it off or shut it, if you will. But um, it will actually trigger every minute from Domotics, which is controlling this valve. Um, and that activates it again, and then it resets its set point, etc. etc. Um, on the screw from the servo link, that needs another knob. I just 3D printed that. Here is a bit of code. Um, it's not particularly fancy. Uh, what you have here is uh, when it starts the actual uh, fan uh, to suck uh, the, the air from the from the house manual, the manual uh, mechanical ventilation. Uh, it triggers module servo one, GPIO four. It sets the, it to 40 degrees, which is five less than 45 which matches up nicely. Uh, it sets a timer 2 to 5 and then below you have on rules timer 2 do server 1 for 9000. This sets the server to idle and I then actually set it the GPIO 4 to 0 and that does work but it will occasionally just jitter because it's triggered every minute from the modics. Uh, so if I do use the modics, and I have it here, and I press this button, behold, it closes. Fair enough. The linkage is fairly simple. You can print this as uh, one whole piece. Uh, the actual duct itself, you need to print that with brim. All the other parts are without brim. Uh, you need, to, well, at least, it's easier if you print those without brim because it fits better. So yeah. And uh, yeah, it goes open again after a minute because the Motex enables it. Fair enough. Um, pretty easy. Uh, servo was three euros. Um, it's something like a few meters of PLA, three millimeters. It's not particularly high. Um, for the actual mechanics, you need some uh, three millimeter bolts to hold the servo. The actual housing he needs M4. I'm using hex head bolts, which is fair enough. Six of those should fit fine. The bearings are actual 608 uh, skate bearings. Uh, three millimeter bolt, uh, three millimeter by 20. Uh, that just grows through the hole just to keep everything in its place. The finger itself is pretty thin. You have two separate flaps with two uh, countersunk M3 by 12. Well, you could probably get away with an 8, but what I had lying. The servo actually came with these very thin uh, two millimeter thick half threaded uh, wood screws so the servo link is actually on a uh, shaft instead of actual threads which is great for the longevity so that's nice. A uh, nice project. Turns out that uh, if you have a, 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 a bow four five wind against your house that, um, yeah, there's actually more leaks in the air ducting than you wish. You could use one of these.